Uh, hello everyone. Uh, hope you're well. I wanted to continue on my legend series, uh, and today I've been hanging around the 70s and 80s uh, for a while. Uh, I want to go back to the years, and I want to give a uh, call in Cowdery of uh, England, who was a legend of the game. Uh, he was born actually in uh, Madras, uh, India, in 1932. He was born on 24th December, eve of uh, Christmas. And uh, he uh, played, after obviously other than England, he played a lot for Kent, the club Kent, and also for the Marlebone uh, Cricket Club. He played 114 test matches uh, and he scored 7,624 runs at an average of just about 44. And he scored 22 hundreds uh, and his highest score was uh, 182. His full name, by the way, was uh, Michael uh, Colin Cowdery. And uh, he also scored more than, uh, he scored, he took uh, 120 catches in test cricket as well. He also scored uh, more than 42,000 runs in uh, first class cricket and uh, he scored 107 hundreds in first class cricket. And he also took an amazing uh, 638 uh, catches in uh, first class cricket. He was known as an outstanding uh, slip fielder. He is actually the one who took the 299th and 300th uh, catch of uh, uh, Fred Truman, of Fred Truman's bowling when he got his 299 and 300th uh, test wicket, which was a history at that point. And there are a few records uh, for Colin Cowdery. Uh, before that, I mean, he went to the Tonbridge uh, School in uh, England where he was a very good player. And uh, later on, the school uh, started a scholarship uh, in his name for sporting excellence in the school. And he has a few records in his name. Uh, he is the first uh, player in test cricket to have 100 test appearances. And uh, he's uh, also the first player in test cricket to score uh, hundreds uh, home and away, test hundreds home and away against uh, the all the six uh, test playing nations of that time, which was obviously uh, Australia, West Indies, uh, New Zealand, Pakistan, India, uh, I missed, uh, South Africa as well. Uh, oh, I mean, in, the, in those times, uh, there were only seven test playing nations. So he basically scored uh, centuries against all the six, uh, all the other six test nations, home and away. So he's the first player to do that, uh, which is an outstanding effort. There aren't a lot of players in this world who have scored a hundred against all test nations. Uh, very few. Uh, and also, I mean, he being the first uh, player in test history to play hundred test matches for his country. And another thing, I mean, he uh, mentioned that he had uh, scored 22 hundreds uh, for his uh, country, I mean, uh, England, obviously, test hundreds. And only one of the hundreds uh, resulted in an England defeat uh, in a test match, and that was against South Africa. I remember saying uh, Jeffrey Boycott, uh, none of his hundreds uh, resulted in an England uh, uh, defeat. Uh, even with Gundaba Vishwanath, none of his uh, hundreds resulted in a defeat for India. And there's also another record. I mean, he is the one, by the way, who broke uh, Wally Hammond's uh, test record of uh, the most number of runs in test cricket. And he held that uh, world test record for a year until it was broken by Sir Garfield Sobers of West Indies. And uh, his first tour uh, was in 1954-55. Uh, he was selected to the Australian tour, the Ashes uh, and in the third test match at MCG at the Melbourne Cricket Ground, when England were in trouble at 41 for four, he scored his first maiden test hundred and he got England out of trouble and England won that test match. Uh, and Bill O'Reilly, he said at that point that it was the best uh, test innings that he had ever seen. Uh, and England went on to win the series 3-1 uh, against uh, Australia and they retained the Ashes uh, in that tour. And he, he also created a record in Australia. He scored 307 runs against South Australia. And at that time, it was the highest score, uh, individual score posted by a tourist in Australia. So that was another record that he uh, created uh, in Australia. Uh, so Colin Cowdery, I mean, uh, scoring uh, tons of runs in first class cricket as well. I mean, like I said, more than 42,000 runs and one of the few players who have scored 
uh, more than uh, one uh, 100 uh, first class to, uh, hundreds i've mentioned in one of my videos as well there are I mean, a lot of older generation players like sir jacobs uh, wally hammond i mean a lot of players of the older generation they not all of them i mean obviously but a few of them from the really old generation who has who have scored more than 100 first class uh, centuries it, it is a rare thing not a lot of uh, batsmen have scored more than 100 first class centuries so colin cowdery is uh, one of them uh, and uh, like i said uh, he uh, was i mean a, a really good player i mean of his times i mean he was a record holder with uh, the highest number of test runs uh, and uh, the, I mean, it is said that I mean he could have scored a lot more runs if he was more uh, consistent. They say I mean Colin Cowdery could be excellent, like uh, excellent on one day in in a Test match, and then he probably can turn up not uh, not in a good mood. And he wasn't that consistent uh, considering the talent that he had. So it is uh, believed that he could have scored a lot more runs than he uh, did. Uh, which is uh, 7,600 runs, so a lot of runs uh, in that era. So that is my video on uh, Colin Cowdery, uh, one of the great legends uh, of uh, cricket and an English uh, in English cricket as well. Someone who scored more than 100 first class hundreds, uh, 22 test hundreds as well. I'm just repeating, uh, and his uh, uh, record of the first player to uh, appear hundred test in 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 a uh, hundred test matches for his country, and also being the first player in test history to score hundreds home and away against all the other six uh, test playing nations at that time. Uh, so that is uh, my video on Colin Cowdery. I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, please take care. Uh, God bless you.